Okay, so this week we are going to try to make an entire week of Korean recipes. I'm so nervous because I've never cooked this much Korean food in my life before, but I'm also really excited. This morning, I'm gonna attempt to make gilgori toast or street toast for breakfast. This is a popular Korean street snack that people buy and eat on the go, usually in the mornings. We start with a bunch of cut up veg, then we transfer it into a pan and kind of zhuzh the mixture into a square shaped form. Oh, I did it. Now I'm taking two pieces of bread and frying them up until they're golden brown. Oh my God, fit. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> then we sprinkle some sugar onto the toast pieces, a liberal amount, not conservative, and add a slice of mozzarella cheese, plop the cabbage on top, add a dollop of mayo and a squirt of ketchup. Bear with me, I know this is a strange mixture. Mmm, it's such an interesting combination, but I love it. I feel like Korean people really know how to do sweet and savory together, like that combination. For lunch, I made kimbap, which is like a Korean style sushi, but much more fun. I put some rice in a bowl and added some sesame oil and sesame seeds for some flavor. Then I just let that hang out while I attempted to make the omelet. Attempted being the key word here. <laughs> Every time I try to do an omelet, it always ends up looking like scrambled eggs. Then I cut up some cucumbers into thin strips. And now it's assembly time. You take a sheet of seaweed for sushi and spread the rice evenly on it. Then you add cucumbers, carrots, and your decimated scrambled egg omelet. Just do a better job than me, please. Here's where I messed up big time though. Like a certifiable idiot, I tried closing up the roll with oil instead of water. So of course the kimbap didn't stick together and everything fell apart when I tried to cut it. So I just kept it as a kimbap burrito instead of cutting it like you're supposed to. Honestly, if I fed this to a Korean person, they'd probably give me like a one out of 10. But for the purposes of this video, I did it. Today I had a long day and I am tired. So I am just going to make cheesy instant ramen or cheesy shin ramyeon, except that the shin ramyeon is not kosher, but thank the Lord above, there is a knockoff kosher brand. Today I'm gonna make a super simple Korean breakfast called geran pap. People usually make this when they're running late to work and need something that they can make with ingredients they already have in their fridge. And now I fry up an egg. While I wait, I'm gonna cut up some green onions and then mix, mix, mix everything in the bowl. And the egg is done, so I'm just gonna plop that on top and poof, I added some seaweed strips and the geran pap is très magnifique. It's lunchtime and I'm busy, so I'm literally just gonna make myself a smoothie. But first, I need to check my spinach for bugs. I feel like everybody should be doing that because you don't know how many times I have found these disgusting, creepy, crawly bugs. I mean, unless you like the extra protein. <laughs> Okay, so it's dinner time and I am going to attempt to make sundubutige, which is a very popular silken tofu stew. I have never made something like this and let's hope I don't mess it up. After we finished cutting the veg, I fried up some kimchi along with some gojukaru, the cut shiitake mushrooms and minced garlic. Then I transferred everything to a pot along with some enoki mushrooms, an egg and some spinach. I'm telling you, this was heaven in a bowl. Like if this was fried rice, Uncle Roger would give me five star rating. I'm so happy that I found this brand. This is actually imported from Greece and it's kosher. This smells so good. And now let us try my concoction. Mm! So good. 
So for lunch, I'm making another super simple thing, kimchi bokkeumbap or kimchi fried rice. Super simple ingredients, very easy to make. Uncle Roger, since I know you're watching this, please note I'm using fridge rice, not fresh rice. I know, I'm very talented. And from there, we transfer to a bowl, add some green onions, some seaweed, and sesame seeds. And we have ourselves a gorgeous bowl of kimchi fried rice, if I do say so myself. And I do. It's dinner time now and I am not hungry because filming that kimchi bokkeumbap took so long that by the time I was actually eating it, it was like almost dinner time. So I'm just eating a popsicle. Kind of matches my outfit. Good morning. I am busy and I am late. So today I'm just having coffee for breakfast. I am really not one of those fancy people that has one of those glasses with the ASMR and the glass cubing. And then we're just gonna do this. Okay, so it's dinner time now, and I am going to make topeki bulgogi, which is a bulgogi in a stew kind of form. I am so excited to make this because the ingredients are super easy to find kosher-wise. First, we marinate some beef or shiitake mushrooms for a vegan version. Then we set a pot to boil and cut some veg and tofu. Then we fling everything into the boiling pot. I think it's coming out pretty well. I don't know if I cooked it correctly. Is udon supposed to be this sticky? Ignore my hands, okay? Nobody's eating this but me. Tokpeki bulgogi is honestly not complete without noodles in my opinion. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't ever go on a date with me. I'm like embarrassing to myself.